Hey guys, Miss Peterson here. And today we're going to be going over uh, the an electromagnetism released for your response problem. This one is from the 2019 AP exam released questions available on College Board. So what we have going on here is we have a particle with a speed of plus Q in traveling with some speed V naught into the region of a field. Okay. It's approaching a region that contains a constant uniform field, and we're going to ignore the effects of gravity. So, on the figure below, draw a possible path of the particle in the region if the region only creates, contains an electric field directed toward the bottom of the page. Okay, so let's see if we can visualize that. I'm going to go ahead and use red for my electric field. Okay. So red for the electric field, if that is directed toward the bottom of the page, signified by these arrows, what path will the electron take? And I can go ahead and do that in green. So if this charge is a positive charge, positive charges flow with the electric field lines. So it'll enter the field and be pushed downward due to that electric force, okay? And it doesn't say to explain, so we're good to go. On the figure below, draw a possible path of the particle if the region contains only a magnetic field directed out of the page, okay? So I'm gonna be using blue for the magnetic field. If it's directed out of the page toward us, we signify that with dots, okay? Just like the um, points of an arrow coming out at, at you, that's what you kind of picture it as. It's X's if it's into the page. So for this one, to figure out what direction that particle goes in, we have to use our trusty right-hand rule. So we have this charge with a velocity. When I use my right-hand rule, I use the thumb for velocity because we go that way. I use my pointer finger for the direction of the field and my middle finger for the force signified by F. So we have its direction. It's going that way. I'm doing this with respect to my paper, so I'm sorry if it's off on your screen. And then the field is coming out at you, so the magnetic force will be down. Okay, so that particle will travel in a similar manner to as it did in the electric field. Now, this one says, for which of the previous situations is the motion more similar to that of a projectile in, a gravitation, in only a gravitational field near Earth's surface, and why? So, we know that the gr gravity force depends on mass. Okay, mass of the particle, but it doesn't have anything to do with the velocity of the particle. The magnetic field has to do with the velocity. So while it won't change its velocity in that field, the one that's going to be more like a projectile is actually the electric force, okay? Because that magnetic field will treat the particle differently depending on that V naught, okay? So the magnetic, or sorry, the electric, and I'm just going to summarize really quickly here what we were talking about, the electric, because it only depends on charge, not velocity as the magnetic does. Just like the gravity force or the gravitational field only affects particles based on their mass. Okay, so the path in the electric field will be most similar to a projectile um, in a gravitational field and will follow that same curved parabolic path. Okay, cool? Okay, cool. Okay. So here we have part B, a paragraph length response. It says another region of space contains an electric field directed toward the top and a magnetic field directed out of the page. Both fields are constant and uniform. Horizontal beam of protons with a variety of speeds. That's going to be important here. Yep, that they are at a variety of speeds. Come on. 
enters the region as shown above. Some exit at point one and some exit at point two. In a coherent paragraph length response, explain why some protons exit the region at point one and others exit at point two. Okay, so while this is a paragraph length response, I do think a little diagram is going to help my explanation here. So I'm going to go ahead and include it. If we consider our proton, okay, in that field, the electric force is going to be directed upward and the magnetic force will be directed downward, okay? That we know from how the fields are oriented. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk through how I would go about writing a paragraph length response to this, and then we're gonna look at the scoring guides and kind of see how those match up. So first, let's define the forces. The proton beam entering the field entering the field experiences both an electric force directed upwards and a magnetic force directed downwards. Okay. The magnetic force depends on the charge the charge and velocity of the particle as shown as charge and let me just go ahead and write that equation the magnetic force equals qvb the electric force only depends on the charge of the particle. Force electric equals Q times the electric field. And why is it in strike through? Okay. We should probably say that it depends on the field strength. Um, since the fields, B field and E field, are constant and uniform, the electric force will be the same on all of the particles. Okay. However, since the particles have a, we'll say protons, it's a proton beam. Since the protons have a variety of speeds, the magnetic force on them will change. Protons moving at slower speeds will have less of a magnetic force on them. So the electric force may be stronger and cause the particles to exit at, that would be one, the top one, at location, at point one. That's what they called it in the description, point one. Faster particles will experience a stronger magnetic force, which could cause which, yep, could cause them to exit at point two, okay? So it's said to explain why some exit at point one and exit at point two. So I explained that the electric force is constant and that the magnetic force depends on the speed. So comparing the speeds of the particle, which, which place they will exit that field. Let's go ahead and see what the scoring guidelines have to say about my response. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom so that I can drag those in. Okay. So for this paragraph length response, there's always going to be five points in a paragraph response. Okay. 
And one of those points will always be a paragraph point. What that basically gives you credit for is just not contradicting yourself within the paragraph and actually writing a paragraph rather than just writing some equations there, okay? While writing these equations, force electric, force magnetic, and the free body diagram does explain a lot of it. It's not a paragraph, so you need to make sure you get that point. That's an easy point to get. Um, I got one point for indicating the electric and magnetic fields act in opposite directions. Okay, that point was right in that first sentence. Nice. Um, for indicating or implying that the magnetic force is affected by speed, but the electric force is not. I got that point. For indicating that the different paths result is the addition of the forces. Okay, so you do need to state that both forces are acting at it at a same time. Um, which is a little implicit in my response, but because I said the fields are constant and uniform, the electric force will be the same, but the magnetic force will change. So I am getting at that relationship between the forces. We got the slower protons exit higher than faster protons, and we are good to go. Okay, cool. Okay, cool.